All right, a shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful let I keep out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line of your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, a hey, Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And I want to focus on what we usually open up our intros with, open up with the on, on the intro about what the Israelites scattered abroad that may uh, look like the heathen nations. You know what I'm saying? But your father's sea line goes back to you being a so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American. And this was inspired as always through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And as I was doing some reading and some studying and going into some old maps, um, you got to understand, man. For a lot of these people out here who are like super close minded, who are really trying to trying to make this a black thing, when it, when, we, when we're telling you it's not a black thing in, in no shape, form, or fashion, this is about the Israelites, the Most High's people who have been scattered abroad to all lands on this planet Earth. And as I was reading through Acts chapter seventeen, as pa the Apostle Paul was in uh, where was he at this point? He was in Athens, Greece, right? And I just want to get this part, then we'll get some more uh, scriptures. And uh, we'll go into some ancient maps to show you, man. Oh, and the title of this video, so lucky I'm kind of excited. <laughs> the title of this video is going to be, in, uh, it's going to be uh, either the Israelites are scattered out, uh, uh, the Israelites are all throughout the planet. Hold on, let me see what I, what I, what did I type down? Oh, Jake is all over the planet, or the Israelites are all over the planet. You see? And it's just common sense, man. So let's get this portion of scripture first, and then we'll grab some more things to show you this, and then we'll grab some maps to, to try to put an illustration with it to open up your mind when you're thinking about the Hebrew Israelites. So this is Acts 17 and verse 29. Now this is the sermon on uh, Areopagus or Mars Hill in Athens. This is the Apostle Paul speaking to Israelites that were living in Athens, Greece. That's what you got to understand, man. Jake was scattered during the time of the Apostle Paul. And even before that, Jake was was, was migrating all around. <laughs> you see? That Mediterranean area, man. You see? And we're going to show you. So this is Acts 17 and 29. It says what? For as much then as we are the offspring of the Most High. Talking about who? The Israelites. We ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold. Or silver or stone graven by art or man's device. The Most High is not an idol. The Most High is living, is a living, breathing God. He's in the heavens right now, chilling. You see? Chilling. With his white garment on, with his white woolly hair. You see? He's in the heavens right now. He's a living, breathing being. That brought all things into existence by way of his son, whose name is Yahweh Shai. You see? Who was a living, breathing power or God in his own right up under his father. Who was down here, a, 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 a God that came to the earth, a living, the second most powerful being that came to the earth. And dwelt in sinful flesh to be a sacrifice for the Hebrew Israelites. And after the third day, after being that sacrifice, he was risen up to be on the earth 40 days and 40 nights. Then he ascended back to the heavens to take his proper place on the right hand side of the Most High as the chief righteous spirit in the heavens. Right? These are living beings, man. They're, they're, they're not idols in any shape, form, or fashion. Now, we do have pictures Depicting what the Most High would look like, giving a more accurate depiction of what Esau's propagated in the earth. The same thing with our Lord Yahweh Shai. We're not saying that this is what they 
actually look like it's it's but it's more close to what they actually look like you know what i'm saying it's just a depiction they will look more like this than what esau's propagated in the earth that's all we're saying we're not bowing down to these images you see or any of that but the most high is not to be looked at as as if he's some type of idol man yahweh shai either they're living breathing beings <laughs> that everything that you see around you came from the mind of the most high he gave the blueprint to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai and the Alahayim executed. And this is why we have everything that we have now. You see? Now, verse 30 says what? In the times of this ignorance, the Most High winked that because before we came into this truth, we was out here following all manner of doctrine, worshiping all manner of idol. Right? The Most High winked that at. But now, command of all men everywhere to repent, to leave off from that low level of the a low level of thinking he command all israelites everywhere to come back into the true understanding that his that he set up his men to give you through the holy spirit you see which is only accessible through our lord yahweh Shah. showing you that he's a living breathing being because you don't get no wisdom knowledge understanding from no damn idol <laughs> you see and there's many chapters in the scriptures and many verses in the scriptures to tell you that these idols are nothing the idol, the, the the gods of the nations are idols. They can't, they don't, they don't breathe. They can't see. They can't hear. <laughs> you see, they have no power. The true power comes from the Almighty God Yahweh Shai. Salaki. The Almighty God Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai. You see. So now we've been commanded as Israelite men, first and foremost, to, to all over the earth to repent. To come back into the true understanding of what it really is. You see, you have to be taught this, man. This is why the Messiah set up teachers. Now, verse 31 says, well, because he have appointed a day, which only the Almighty knows, showing you there's a dif difference between, a difference in rank between the Most High God, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. Because even Yahweh Shai don't know the time of the hour. Right? It says what? In the which he will judge the world in righteousness, by that man whom he ever deigned, which is who? Our Lord Yahweh Shah, the Lord and Savior, the Messiah of Israel. Whereof he have given assurance unto all men, and that he have raised him from the dead. And that's our hope. You see? And we know that he's risen because through the Spirit we've risen. He's quickened us. The only reason we have this wisdom out of understanding is because Yahweh Shah was two, was here two thousand years ago. He was sacrificed 2,000 years ago, and after the third day, he was risen up 2,000 years ago. You see? Just repeat myself now. Was here 40 days and 40 nights, and then he ascended back to the heavens. Unlocking the wisdom of the understanding for us and sending down the Holy Spirit, beginning with the apostles back in the ancient times. Here we are reincarnated again, and the Spirit has been sent down to us again for us to do this work that we do through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You see, so we can preach the gospel of repentance to the Israelites who have been scattered abroad. And this is why the Lord Yahweh Shah tells us this right here in uh, Matthew 10. Hold up. You know, Matthew 24 and 14, it says what? And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. You see that? This gospel is going to be preached all throughout the world. Why? It's because the Israelites have been scattered all throughout the world. Why? Because it's a punishment for us breaking that first covenant. We transgressed that first covenant as the most highest people. So we had to suffer the consequences of that. And one of the consequences was what? For us to be scattered. Going all the way back to the time when the Apostle Paul was going on his missionary trips all up and down the coast of the Mediterranean, preaching the gospel to, preaching the gospel to the Israelites who were scattered in those different areas. And Jake has been scattered for generations now. You see? When you go and follow those maps <laughs> to all these places the Apostle Paul were, were, were visiting, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans were there. In every captivity, you had a residue of Israelites 
that would stay behind in those different captivities. They didn't want to leave. So just imagine where all the Israelites are scattered to. And we know this to be the truth because we, we got brothers in Australia. <laughs> that's the end of the earth. Well, that's the beginning of the earth because it's, it's, it's over there in the east. It's almost as far the first, uh, furthest east that you can go. You see? Because I know Japan is the furthest east you can go. Then I think it's like Australia after that. But you have Israelites scattered all throughout this planet, man. Let's show you that real quick. This is Matthew. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Matter of fact, Yahweh Shai even tells us that. Oh, man. And the reason that was said, because what? It says what? That the gospel shall be preached in all the kingdoms of the earth, and then shall the end come for all the what? For all the Israelites who have been scattered abroad to hear it. For those who need to hear it, those who are part of the remnant. You see? And once they believe upon it, be said with the Holy Spirit of truth, you see what happens? The end comes. Revelation 7. So let me see. Um, oh man, because I know you how I said it, man. I think it is in Matthew 21. But that's another one. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven because what? Israelites are scattered all throughout the nations. I can't find the other one. So let's move on and show you something else. This is Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64. Because I know Yahweh Shah talks about us going into uh, captivity in all the different nations. But this is Deuteronomy 28 and 64. It says what? And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth unto the other. Unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. You see what we were talking about? These idols that Jake was raised up in as they were scattered amongst the heathen following the ways of the heathen and this is going on for generations right this is why the, the apostle paul says what the most high commands men everywhere men of who men of israel everywhere to repent and leave off from the worship of these false idols to come back to serve our god that we've been commanded to worship as the israelites you see it says what which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone because our fathers didn't worship no idols when the most high brought us out of egypt we were commanded to do what? Have no God before Yahweh. To follow Yahweh. <laughs> you see? That's what we're being commanded to do now. But through who? But through our Lord Yahweh Shah. This is what it is. And the Most High has promised to gather us from all these different lands that we've been scattered to. And that's happening by way of what? By way of the preaching of the gospel. You see? The word of the Most High have gathered them. And that's happening because the men of the Lord are preaching the gospel through the Holy Spirit. Just like our apostles in the ancient time before us. This is what the Apostle Paul was doing. Now let's show you. I want to show you something real quick. Um, man. Now, you got to understand. This has been going on for generations on end. Now just imagine how many Northern Kingdom Israelites were left. Like the residue of them being left behind during the Assyrian captivity. Because all of the northern kingdom didn't come over. You got to understand, all of the northern kingdom didn't come over here. How do we know that? It's because you had northern kingdom Israelites that were still in the land of uh, Israel during the time of Yahweh Shah. You see? You had some of the tribe of Asher over there, so forth and so on. Guess what those men were doing? As they was migrating into those different areas, they was getting with these heathen women, bringing forth children. And this was happening, this was happening generation after generation after generation. You see, and what, what were they doing? They was raising their children up in the in the ways of the heathen. 
So you, you got to look at it, man. This whole look, you see, this area here is where the promised land is. And Jake was migrating all up and down this Mediterranean area all, as far as far as as far as what? As Rome. During the apostle the time of the apostle Paul. You see? And how much how much further were they scattered scattered after 70 AD? Living amongst all these heathen, heathen nations from generations on in. To the point to where it's gonna like we always say, the, the you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations. Why do they look like the heathen nations? Because they've been laying with the heathen women, bringing forth Israelites that that look like the heathen. They've been scattered amongst, and it don't take long. <laughs> it don't take long for the entire <laughs> all all the Israelite features to be gone from an Israelite after one or two generations, and we have examples on this side of that happening. Look at Blake Griffin's son. Blake Griffin, his father is a, a very dark-skinned Levite, so that makes Blake Griffin a Levite. But Blake, his father got with an Edomite woman, and you got you get <laughs> Blake Griffin from that. He's a Levite, but he has light skin. Now you go and look at Blake Griffin. He got with his woman, which is an Edomite, blind, have blue eyes. He, he has a son with her. This child comes out, blonde hair, blue eyes. But when you look at his grandfather, that's the stock that he comes from. Even though that child looks like an Edomite with blind hair and blue eyes, that child is a Levite. So only in two generations, <laughs> the entire, all the facial features, uh, all the features of an Israelite have been wiped away. Now just imagine what has taken place since 70 AD. <laughs> you see, with Israel, with Israel being scattered all throughout the world amongst these heathen nations for generations on end. Imagine, you see. You got Israelites all over here in Neo Syria, uh, 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 where the Syrian Empire was, because they were scattered all throughout. This is slaves, you see. But you had a majority of them leave out and come to the land of America. But hey, they were laying seed over here. You got. Let's get let's get something else. I was looking up a few things. Let's get Galatia. Let's show you what Galatia is. Right. Galatia is where. Is in Anatola, this area right here, which is in the, the Mediterranean area. You had Jake all in his area. You see, look at Galatia. It's in, it's it's in the, and then you got all the different churches, <laughs> Cappadocia, Galatia. You see, Lyconia, Lydia. These are all different lands the Apostle Paul was going through. Bithynia. You see, Pontus. You see that. Why was he going to all these different areas? Because Jake was scattered all up and through here amongst the heathen nations for generations. You see? Now, do you think they were going to come back looking like all the, the Israelite features? No, they were going to be looking like the heathen they were scattered amongst. You see? And then you go over here. Ar you think Jake ain't in Armenia? Yes, they are. <laughs> they all over here in Mesopotamia, the area of Mesopotamia, which was what? Modern day Iraq. Iran, <laughs> you see, they're all up in Syria. This is what you have to understand when you when you come into the understanding of this truth, man. That the Israelites have been scattered everywhere. And they're not going to come back looking like, uh, all looking like so-called black men. This is why we tell you this is not a black thing, man. You see? So 70 AD, you got, you got Jake, Jake being a... Uh, uh, Forced to leave the land in 70 AD. Let's get like a map. What did I, what was I looking at? I was looking at the map here. And uh Yup. In my study Bible, right? And you gotta understand how Jake is how close Jake is to these different areas. And you gotta understand. And you got you had the Alexandria Alexandria Jews, which are what? Israelites living in Alexandria, Egypt. You think you want migrating from those different areas down all the way down to Ethiopia and Somalia and all these different areas? Yes. You have Israelites all over this place, man. You see? Scattered all through over the world, all throughout the world. Let's show you. Let's see if I can get a few pictures of these maps to actually point some things out. So yeah, let's do this real quick. Let's do uh let's turn the camera on. Yup, look at that. So you got the land of Israel, the promised land we were in. Then we started to migrate to all these different lands here. All up and through here, man. You see? 
And as time progressed, we started to migrate further and further away from the promised land because that fulfills the promise of us being what? Scattered amongst all nations under heaven. Then you got the Apostle Paul that goes on his ministry, ministry uh, his missionary trips all up and through here. You see, all the way to Rome, all the way to Athens, all the way to, to Corinth. You see, where the Most High told him he had many people in that land. You got to understand, this is not a black thing, man. This is about the Israelites who have been scattered, that are going to hear the gospel and repent. You see that? And wherever they are, if they believe in the Lord Yahweh Shah, when he returns, he's going to gather them. And that's all according to prophecy. And they're going to look like many, the many nations that we have been scattered amongst for these, uh, for these many, many generations now, man. You see? That's what's happening. So no, this is not a black thing. We're not the black Hebrew Israelites. We're just the Hebrew Israelites and our family. They're going to be gathered from all the lands that we've been scattered to. Looking like all the nations we've been scattered, scattered in for all these generations. So that's why we tell you you're going to have so-called Chinese men. I mean, Israelites looking like so-called Chinese with, with full Chinese features. The same thing with our, 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 our people being gathered from the land of Ammon. With all the, 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 with the fullness of Ammon's features. The same thing of people being gathered from amongst Japheth and, and amongst Ham, which are the so-called Africans. Because our people have our people have been scattered amongst these different nations, and our men have been laying with the heathen women, bringing forth Israelites that look like the heathen nations. Because once again, it only takes two generations. <laughs> you see? It only takes two generations, man. For the for the for the Israelite features to be gone. So wherever the Israelites are, they're going to hear this gospel because the most I has prophets amongst all these different heathen nations. This is why you have brothers in Germany, brothers in Great Britain. You have brothers, once again, all the way in Australia, Central and South Africa, all throughout the 50 states. And then to add fuel to the flame, the most high gives us the Internet, the World Wide Web, so it can have an even, uh, even so he can have an even uh, further reach on the planet earth by this word going forth and wherever jake is you see the true wherever the true believers are they're going to hear it and believe and be added to the church to receive salvation when your shot returns and that's what's promised that's what's promised man let's show you let's get a few more scriptures because i'm running short on time trying to do this on my break matter of fact Matter of fact, let's go to what the Most High said in Deuteronomy 30. This goes all the way back to the time of Moses. The Most High was prophesying this from the beginning. Because it, it was already set up for this to happen according to what the Most High ordained to come to pass. You see? Now this is restoration promised. It says what? And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether Yahweh thy power have driven thee, wherever Israel, wherever the remnant of Israel is, they're going to call it to mind because it tells us in prophecy that what? In the land of our captivities, captivities with an S, because any land that's not our land, we're, we're being held captive in it. If we're not in the promised land, we're in the land of our enemies right now. You see? So it says what? We shall remember remember ourselves in the land of our captivities. And this is what's going to happen to the remnant no matter wherever they are. You see? Whether they be in the, in, in the land of Saudi Arabia, amongst the, amongst the so-called Chinese, amongst the so-called Japanese, amongst the so-called Africans, the remnant there are going to hear the gospel and believe and be sealed unto salvation. No matter how they look. Because at the end of the day, they're still an Israelite through their father's seed. That's all that matters. Now it goes on to say, Restoration Promise. Deuteronomy 30 and 1, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I shall set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among the nations, whether Yahweh thy power have driven thee, remembering ourselves, because what? The gospel is being preached. You see? Verse 2, and shall return unto Yahweh thy power, meaning repent, and turn from these false idols back to our true power, 
You see, the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you see that? That then Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity. Salaki, so like verse 2. And shall return unto Yahweh thy power, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thy soul. That then Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations where the Yahweh thy power have scattered thee. And that's from all over this planet Earth, man. You see that? Wherever the Israelites are, let me say, wherever the remnant of the nation of Israel is, they are going to be gathered through their faith and belief in our Lord Yahweh Shah. You see? Verse uh, 4 says what? If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, if any of thine be driven out into the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai thy power gather thee. And from thence will Yahweh Bash and from thence will he fetch thee. There it is. Wherever the remnant of the nation of Israel is, wherever they are, they're gonna be gathered as the most high has promised. You see, and we've been scattered all throughout this planet, man. And we're going to look like all the different nations that are on this planet. It's only, it's, it's common sense. Like I said, once again, like we know it, like we can see in the earth, it only takes a couple generations for those features to be gone for our people to be looking like what? The heathen nations that they've been living amongst for all these generations. So how many generations has it been since 70 AD? How many generations has it been since the northern kingdom was in the, in, the, in the Assyrian captivity? You see? What's been going on now? You got Israelites still migrating all to, to all these different parts of the earth. Getting with these heathen women. Bringing forth children. Israelite children that look like the heathen. So wherever the, the remnant wherever the remnant is, they're going to be gathered through their faith, man. No matter how they may look. So no, this is not a black Hebrew Israelite thing. It's just the Hebrew Israelite thing, according to what's written in the scriptures. You see? It goes on to say, verse 5, And Yahweh thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it. And he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And that's what's going to happen, because when we go back, we're going to go back into that. We're going to go back into the land in the fullness of our glory. You see, being brought into the second covenant, having those righteous immortal bodies where we never sin again. And that's going to bring us into the access of the blessings that we read about in Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 through 14. You see? Verse 6 says what? And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah thy power will circumcise thine heart, and the heart of thy seed to love Yahweh thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. That thou mayest live. And this is the process that we're going through right now. You see? In the process of being brought into that second covenant. And we will be brought into the fullness of it. Once the Lord Yahweh Shah comes to redeem us. And save us from all these different lands that we've been scattered to. Thus saith the Bible. Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So with that. I'm going to end it by giving all praise. All honor. All glory to. Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shah. Bahashem Rekakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of that I out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai has created us to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Ababa, Ba.